Hello everyone, welcome to episode 9 of my Let's Play as Sekiro Shadows Die 1 million times. So, we sort of rushed through this last area. We did this primarily because there are a couple of enemies of this variety that are very difficult. And I was getting low on healing stuff, and so I wanted uh, an idol, and I knew that there was an idol right over there. Ba-boom! Is that guy noticing us? Oh gosh, he is. Oh no, oh brother. Really, I'd like to get a death blow on that guy. I think maybe I can if I wait for him to sort of get to the stairwell, which it looks like he's found now. Can, we'll let him get all the way over here, and then we'll death blow him. And then we'll come back up here and we'll death blow this guy. We're gonna blow a couple dudes. Beautiful. Ooh, get a lot of skill points from that. And we got a Gokan Sugar. Thank you for the candy. Nice, just barely got it. Thank you. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and make the archer our first priority. Hey man, no need for that. Give me that health back, please. Beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Another Gokon sugar, that's great. And a Gachin sugar, I love this. All right, that allows us to sort of explore this area in peace. Get ourselves some item. Some antidote powder. Looks like maybe a place you can go into, but nope. Remember, there are a couple of dudes over here. One right here. One over there. Let me put you out of your misery with your weird ass prayer. Any items back here? Does not look like it. I thought that there was maybe a dude down here, but there is not. Okay. Well, this area is nice and cleared out. Now we can resume our trek up the mountain, Mount Congo, that is. Let's see what the temple has in store for us. Aha! Little path to the side here. Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. That is what I was trying to do. And what do you know, another memorial mob. A couple of persimmon, a dragon's blood droplet, and some five-colored rice bunch of coin purses and some scrap magnetite. Well, I do want that stuff. Let's see what all we can buy. I'll take the rice. 
I'll take the droplet. A red ripe persimmon ready to eat for a time allows one to recover posture even when attacking or taking damage. Ashina persimmons are particularly nutritious. Perhaps because the trees grow in such pure water, persimmons become blood, blood becomes rice. This may be of help to one short of blood. Anytime an item in a game like this says, this may be of help to some random person, you best believe that you should buy it. And we'll purchase the rest. In coin purses. And again, coin purses do come at a 10% loss, but this, I believe, leads back to the woods where we fought. Yep, you can see the monks over there, so we don't need to go back down there. But coin purses do protect your sin for if you are going to die. And while I'd like to think that I'm strong enough not to die frequently, I'm also a practical man, and I know that death is often in my future. Oh, hey, friend. My second skill point. In fact, since we are so close to an idol, we will go ahead and spend that immediately for our beloved Ascending Carp. Now our deflections will deal more posture damage, which in many cases is more valuable than an actual damage upgrade in this game. And then when we get our next skill point, we'll go and buy Descending Carp. Hey man, gonna have to get a, gonna have to ask you to stop doing that. Where is he? There he is. Okay, what have we over here? Nice little spirit emblem. A doofus. Why do some of their heads crack immediately, but others do not? Mm-hmm. I was afraid of that. I probably should have just healed. I'm an idiot. I tried to heal there, but I was not able to. I'm curious as to why I break some of their hats so quickly, but others, not at all. Huh. Maybe some of them are like reinforced metal or something like that? I'm not sure. You see, this is why I buy coin poises. Damn you. Come on over here, why don't you? I'm not gonna run through your poison. I'm not gonna do that. Wait, really? I thought I deflected that.
Come on. Really? Grab move? Oh my god. What is the deal? Why can't I break these guys' postures with, the t with axe moves anymore? I hate these little doofuses. Come on, join me down here, please. Come on. Okay. Okay. Really? So now I can't use the axe anymore. This is great. Damn you. Oh man, these guys are pissing me off. What am I supposed to do? I thought the axe was the way that you broke those guys' guard, but I can hit that guy with three axe hits in a row and not break his guard. You know what I should do? I know what I should do. I should buy a boat. I should go back to the dilapidated temple and upgrade my axe. Perhaps that will help me. Rather than trying the same thing over and over and hoping for different results. I should quit that insanity. And think like a manatee. We shall go and visit the sculptor. Have him upgrade our axe. We may need to pop a small coin purse. I think it costs money. But I'm not quite sure. Oh, I think we also need to give a gourd seed to Emma. Amazing. Yep, we do need sin for it. strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. The weight allows one to shrug off incoming attacks and can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters. Storing and unleashing energy in the spring mechanism allows for large sweeping attacks despite its weight. Beautiful. Same amount of Spirit Emblem costs so a strict upgrade for us. Alright, now we're up to five gourd, gourd uses. Back to Simpo Temple we go. To Shigendo. I don't know what Shigendo means. Maybe like Cliff Face or something like that. Okay, let's see if this axe improves our performance at all. Also, let's see where, if we can spy where this guy is hiding. Yeah, let's see if we can knock him down, huh? Well, that had the opposite effect. There we go. Seems to be having a bit of a better effect. Let's see. Although this guy, this guy's hat sucks. I think we break that guy's hat first try. So yeah, it must be a matter of how reinforced their hats are. That must be the determining factor here. Yeah. 
turn around. You know what? I've got an idea. Maybe it's a stupid idea. But there's only one way to find out. Aha! And goodbye! Okay, I guess we don't get his loot if we kill him that way. It's a bit of a bummer. Up. Although, it is to be noted that there is something over there, and we should explore it. I think we'll explore it going around that away. There he is. Guy had to fall down. Now there's a place to go through there, but before we do that, let's explore this region a bit, shall we? Uh, shall we? Whatever could this be? A red and white pinwheel. A small pinwheel made of red and white paper found about halfway up Mount Congo. The red and white pinwheels simply spin round and round. Everyone is right here. Everyone is right here. Surely referring to these wooden effigies, these wooden dolls. And sadly, we will learn eventually that these are memorials. We haven't learned that quite yet, but we know that the, the sad fatty was, was sad that everyone had left and he was all alone. And he's muttering something about pinwheels. He wants a pure white one, not a red and white one. We found a red and white one. Now we need to find a pure white one. But wherever will we find it? Mm hmm Okay, path of ledge hangs over there. Are there any ledge hangs down? Okay, I'm not sure we can drop here safely. No, we definitely cannot drop here safely. I don't think we can jump over to that side safely either. And so we will continue on on our path. Whew, frame drop there for a second. That scared me. That scared me. Ba-boom, 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 we climb. All right. We go up. And perhaps this... Oh, no! Well, I thought that maybe that was how we got over there. Let's take a sip of gourd. I'm really glad that you don't die by falling off in this game if you have full health. It's super, super good move. Oh, hey, Lizzie's. Well, that lizard just wanted to end it all. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Do a little bit of Metroid wall bouncing. Haha! -ha. This is our white pinwheel, our pure white flower. A small pinwheel made of white paper found below a cliff at Mount Congo. Perhaps it was carried there by the wind. It is simply a single pure white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. Now, I want to get over there really badly, and I can't remember how. I cannot remember how. What's that sound? 
And remember, this is our shortcut to the Bell Demon. Did we take damage from that guy falling on us? I think we did. Hilariously. Monkey booze. Alcohol created by a dew pooled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake with a bit of luck. While it's known for its brutally harsh flavor, some find this acquired taste irresistible. So we've got more booze to offer. And a heavy coin purse. Wonderful. Bulging coin purse. Gotta love it. Anything over here? No. What lies down here? I think that this is just... Oh, lizards. I hate lizards. I hate lizards. I hate them. I want to coat my blade in their blood, and I will. Mark my words, I will. Weird lighting stuff going on there. Oh, is this perhaps the way down? Ho oh, ho! That hurt. It bugs me that we can't use that thing. I'm gonna try it one more time like an idiot. Nope. It bothers me. It grinds my gears. It truly does. I wanna get over there, and I've forgotten how. I've forgotten how. Ah, I guess that's a way to get back. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know, in fact, there might not be a way to get back from over here. Maybe it opened that shortcut for us because we need to use the what's it called? The idol. Let me up. I want to go down there really badly, though. I want that. I want that juicy, juicy item. I want it. All right. Well, let's go back through the headless. Oh wait, we're already in the bell demon area. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well that means that we need to go back through Shigendo to get to that area. We should have gone through that area first. Stupid. And actually, we should also go and find Big Boy and give him the pure white flower. We'll do that after we cross the bridge. Come on, buddy. Come on over here. Get on over here. I'm not going through your poison mists. Damn you. Damn you. Let me heal. Okay. So honestly, it doesn't feel like the spring-loaded axe even increased our odds anymore against the guys with reinforced hats. We might just need to find an entirely different approach to them. Alright, we did find a new approach to the other guy. simply do a little bit of a ledge hang and somehow he does not see me right now. Nothing to see here. Goodbye, sir. Uh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Yep, there's the point. 
that I was that I was awaiting. Man, this last skill point's gonna take quite a while to come, isn't it? Alright. One of the saddest fights. Don't damage him at all. Whoa! Kiri counted that, but I did not. Should have actually blocked that, but I did not. Come on. Damn it, I keep wanting to get away to rebuild my posture when I should be Makiri countering. so my posture recovers more slowly. Come back over here, buddy. Yeah, I know I should be Makiri countering that. But I want you over towards these uh, open walls. That's where I want you. There we go. Follow me, sir. Follow me. Very much a West v. East here, huh? Love it. Oh, come on. Makiri counter. Did not mean to run around him. Fall off. Oh, I understand. I just need to get you uh, in the right position. Come on, let me out of here. There we go. God damn it. That's stuck over there. Come on. Mm, that was my chance. That was my chance. Course. Like the one place I can't do it at. Oh. Yeah, I know your armor is immovable. God damn it. Makiri counter, I hate you. Of course, my posture's rebuilding super slow. God damn it, why can't I Makiri counter you?
God. Oh. Get two death blows on the guy, but because of the positioning, I don't get the kill. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, we have to position him so that he falls off a ledge when we death blow, but there's really, there's really no good way to confirm that that will happen, you know? I wonder if the spear will pull off his armor. I don't think it will. Let me see if I can avoid that fight entirely. Oh, hey. Did not mean to go up this high, because I don't want to fight this guy either. Hey, goodbye. I want to preserve my, uh, my stuffs. I want to preserve my stuffs for this man. This man from the west. Angry boy, aren't you? Okay, so you don't get the Makiri counter if you're out of... If you're, like, uh, in a broken stance. That makes sense. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. Tried to get away from you to heal. Was unsuccessful. Let me run. God damn it. Let me run away from you. Okay. God, he deals so much posture damage. I shouldn't have carried counted that. But I want him here towards all the broken stuff. Come over here, buddy. Mm. Almost. Come on, Makiri, counter me. Close. Come on. God damn it. Are you kidding me? Oh. It's like the only place he could not have gone. Or he should not have gone. Oh my god. Come on, give me the opportunity there. God damn it. Oh, this fight. Fah, fah, man. 
I had him the first time, but I pushed him into the pillar. Oh man, I hate these RNG fights. I hate these RNG fights. There's not really much I can do. You know, I can, I'm trying to position myself correctly. We try again, we go again. This is all we can do. God damn it. They're gonna hit me again. They're gonna hit me again. Yep. Frick! Really? Okay. Okay. Please don't, please don't hit me when I'm up here. Okay, okay. It's not that bad of a run back. Let's make sure my hands aren't as sweaty. Oh, okay, let's deal with this guy again. Mm, the Kiri countering too early. I want to kick him off there, but I cannot. Oh my god. There's a Makiri counter. Come on, Makiri counter. God damn it. Oh. Maybe I need to like choose where I death blow him. Maybe not necessarily it's not about like where he gets down, but rather where I choose to engage the death blow from. Come on, come on, come on. God damn it! Come on, Makiri, count me from here. Are you kidding me? Come on. God damn it, I keep Makiri countering too early. Okay. God damn it. Let me run away from you. God damn it. This fucking camera. <sighs> okay, this is it. This is it, right? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This guy's driving me insane. Oh 
Okay, get away from him. Regain my posture. Like, come on, how did he not fall off just then? Damn it. I'm never gonna get this guy. I'm never gonna get him. God damn it. Yep, go ahead and do it. Ah, this guy, I swear. I swear. I must have death blowed him eight times, twice into the pillar instead of off the oh my god. I guess I just need to, before I death blow him, oh, unseed ain't, yeah, thank you. Lord knows I need that. Lord knows I need that. The run back is not great either. Let me, come on, come on. Thank you. Damn it. Oh man, this game has got my number right now. My blood pressure is way up. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. It's funny because the first time I played this game, I didn't even really get the mechanics. It just happened, you know, it just happened to happen that way. I got him first try. But. <laughs> Oh, why is my Makiri countering not landing? Just keep running past him. God damn it, I keep running past him for the Makiri counters. See, what is that? <sighs> God damn it. Can I land a single Bakiri counter, please? There we go. Mm. God damn it. I just keep missing these Makiri counters. I'm doing it, I'm just running by them. Okay, okay, okay. This is it, right? This is it. This is it. Whoo! Oh, man. Did it. Robert! Oh, man. He's, he made a thunderous hit on the ground, didn't he? And a prayer bead from that man, too. Okay. Whoo! Okay. Breath of Nature's Shadow. A latent skill that recovers posture upon performing a successful death blow. A shinobi must be prepared for battles in which he is outnumbered. After killing an enemy, one must exhale, expelling both regret and reaffirming one's core to regain posture. Experiencing battles with stronger opponents further deepens this moment of exhaustion, of exhalation. Whew, I read it as moment of exhaustion. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> Some scrap magnetite, and uh, I think that's my third prayer bead. Let's see. Oh, it's my fourth prayer bead. Very nice.
Second prayer necklace. In Ashina, there's a towering pink ogre of a man, said to have gone red-eyed and run amok before he was long shut away in a forsaken dungeon. Good to know. My vitality and my posture are now better, thank goodness. Now, now that we know what that man says, he falls off, because when we meet a man like that, a very odd man, right, in full armor that we can't do vitality damage to, we don't really um, know what he's doing here in the, in the east, in the land of reeds, in Japan. But he yells out a name that we recognize. When he dies, that name is Robert. I wonder if Robert's firecrackers stays in my inventory? It doesn't, so I can't read it again, sadly. But I do remember that Robert's firecrackers basically told the tale of a man and his son who traveled to the east, seeking out Simpo Temple to, to seek the um, rejuvenating waters of Simpo Temple uh, in, a, in an attempt to prolong Robert's life. And it mentioned that Robert was a child and, you know, children shouldn't really uh, be on the brink of death, so we can assume from that that Robert was ill. It sounds like this man brought his son here to Simpo Temple to see if the monks could aid him. A bit of a tragic tale we will find out in a bit. Man, did 486 skill points really only get me that much? That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, we've killed the wolves. But not all of them, eh? Hey, look, it's treasure cops. Let's see if we can kill them. For their sweet, sweet scales. There's a one. And the, uh, did the other one swim away? Seems like perhaps it did. Oh, there it is. Two scales, baby. That brings us to four. And looks like we've got some monks to deal with now. Who see me? You see me? No. No, you don't see me. You just think you see me. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. There we go. Oh, look. A thing. Gokan sugar. And a wolf. No, thank you. No, thank you. Spooky music, huh? And still my jumping abilities are not what I think they are. No, no, no. Wow, I'm a fool. Ooh, okay. I think that's where we'll end today's episode. I'll be on... Actually, let's see here. Yeah, I'll be on probably late, late tonight for episode 10, where we'll explore the temple grounds. But thanks for watching, you guys. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, I will be doing more Elden Ring content eventually, but those videos take longer to produce now that I'm not just streaming, and in the meantime, we're going to be streaming Sekiro. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.